All right, we're back. We're making uh, parts and pieces of the courtyard house. And previously, we made the kitchen appliances. And we're on to the next thing. What could it be? going to be working on the living room and of course the most important thing in a living room is a couch this has got a lot of little parts and pieces just take it section by section um, first off is you're gonna make a pillow I am NOT the best sewer in the world that's probably my one weakness so I just went piece by piece cut the pieces out to the sizes that they say and you kind of sew around the two edges, fold down the top, flip it inside out, stuff it, and then sew the top. And of course this has two pillows so same thing you fold it in half I, this time around I got smart and I folded the top down first and then and then I squished it with my brick while I stuffed this one uh, it made it a lot easier the second time around
Next we're going to do the bottom cushions and it's just the little piece of wood glued to the material and I squished it with the brick. One of these days I'll have to do a tutorial of how to make a decorative brick, huh? Um, leave a comment if you'd like to see that. I use it all the time and it's probably my most useful tool ever. Um, but yeah, you just stick it to the piece of material and cut around it and then glue the sides down. Now we're going to make the main body of the couch. It's just gluing the backboard to the seat part and then the two sides and then set it aside to dry. And here I'm just gluing the, the sides down. I squished it down a little bit with uh, my fingers. I got some nice quick dry glue, quick dry tacky glue. It's a great glue to use with material and wood. Not so much with metals and plastics. And I use the super glue with that, you'll see in some parts and pieces. But I squished it down with my fingers and then put it down underneath my famous brick to dry and trim it up and you're good to go.
and we're going to do the same thing to the back uh, pieces as well. So the same thing you did for the bottom of the seat, you're going to do to the top of the seat. Next we're going to make a flower stand, or I would say it's more of an end table in the living room. So you're going to make a, um, a wire flower bush thing. So basically you're going to take five pieces of the wire, twist them together at the bottom. This is where my little needle nose pliers come in handy. And then the very tops, so you're just going to twist it up into random curls. It's very, very easy. And then you're going to paint it brown, let it dry, and stick the little flowers on there.
These little flower bud things were not easy to stick on. I tried doing it up in the air like this, but um, the glue just doesn't dry fast enough and they just fall right off. So I ended up laying it down and then gluing it on that way. That seemed to work pretty well. I just did one side, glued it whatever was leaning on the table, flipped it over, and then continued gluing the other side so it kind of looked even. And we're, the only part I, for some reason, didn't get on film was making the little end part, table part. It's basically the same thing you do for the couch and it's just gluing the top to the legs. Super easy. And we also, later on down the line, we make another table and it's the same process. So we're just going to glue the flower pot to the top and you're done with that part. These, I think, are little stools that go beside the, uh, the coffee table. So, real simple, they give you these little circles to stick on top of the beads and bam, you're done. This little flower pot is kind of cool. Um, you're going to take a piece of this bushy tree thing and stick it in the bead. And then you're going to dab glue on the top tips of all those little spikies and then sprinkle the little pink moss that they provide. And you get kind of a flowery flower pot thing. And it turns out really nice. We're going to make another flower pot. This is probably one of the easiest ones. You're just going to cut a couple of these little 
fern looking things off. I ended up cutting some of the little bottom leaves off because it wouldn't glue into the pot as easy and then gl glue the flowers in and you're done. Alright, and we're going to make one more flower vase. Um, this one is the same as the little red bud vase. So you basically are twisting the bottom together of the wires and then making it all twisty, turvy for the top branches. Um, and then uh, painting it brown again. And we're going to use some of those leaves that are on the, I guess they look like little ferns. So I cut a bunch of the leaves off of there and I use the same method that I did with the little red bud uh, bush tree, not sure what you would call them, and laid it down and glued the little leaves on. And then you glue the little purple flowers on the end.
And now we're going to make a little tea table or coffee table, depending on what you prefer. Um, first, you're going to make this little tiny vase and very simple. It's just a couple sprigs of the green and a couple of the blue flowers stuck in there. And probably the trickiest uh, part of the whole bunch is making this little tiny tea kettle. So you're going to make a handle. Now I made one that was a little bit too small at first and then I ended up making another one that was a little bit taller because it had to go over the little bead or the lid that they have at the top. So um, you're just going to bend a, like a staple shape. And then you're going to make a little tiny curve for the spout and then glue all the pieces together. This takes patience. We're almost to the home stretch and now we're going to build the table itself. So just like any of the other uh, tables, chairs, uh, end tables, it's gluing the little feet on and then they have a little crossbar on each end. And I just like to lay it as flat as possible so I can get it a little more uh, straight. And then you're going to make the little tea tray. It's just two pieces, easy peasy. So there's a flat piece and a, I would call it a little picture frame piece. So I just uh, go light on the glue, otherwise it glops everywhere and it dries faster the less glue you put on and put the two pieces together. And now the fun part, we get to put it all together. So we put the little teapot on there and then we're going to put 
three little beads on there for the, the tea cups. And then we're gonna glue the tea tray onto the tea table and add the vase. And there you go. We got a cute little um, living room. <laughs> so we made a couch, we made an end table, we made a coffee table or tea table, and a whole bunch of little plants and stools. We had quite the day and I think it turned out great. Just keep on watching for the next video and we'll see what room we do next. Thanks for watching.